Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So I hope you guys are liking this particular series. This is the second video of the Playwright Automation series. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about Cypress versus Playwright. Which one is better? Which one is having better uh, feature in terms of uh, different edge cases, out of the box uh, features and everything. A couple of people were asking, can you please uh, give us a uh, right comparison between Cypress and the Playwright. So I did my own research. I did uh, captured all the uh, bullet points over here, different comparisons that I have created this particular table. And then uh, I tried my best to give you the best information because I did a lot of research about it. And then whatever the content that I'm de delivering from my side, it's my own research, it's my own opinion about it. Now it's up to you that which tool that you are going to pick. From my side, my job is to give you that which one is having a better feature, which one is having the what are different advantages, disadvantages, pros and cons, everything. Now you decide, you discuss with your team and then on the basis of that you take a decision that which tool that I really want to use for my application for the automation point of view. So let's start without wasting our time that uh, first of all that this is the first Cypress column and this is the Playwright column and these are the features that I have written. iframe, iframe plays sometimes a major problem in different applications where let's say your username password is available inside the iframe or your account information is available inside the iframe. So in, with respect to Cypress, it's very limited feature or almost like sometimes not possible also to uh, get deep dive into iframe. But number of elements are available inside the iframe and then you really want to interact with Playwright, it's very well supported with Playwright. So yes, iframe support is available. That was a major drawback of a Cypress that it does not support or there are some hacks are available then only you can handle iframe otherwise you cannot do that cross origin policy third party login it's not at all supported cypress is having its own reason behind that but according to uh, this it is not at all supported with that but here it's very well supported with playwright in one tab you can log in with the admin user in another tab on the same window within the same test you can create another page context and the browser context within the same browser context you can create number of page context and then in the new a tab you can log in with the customer user you can log in with the distributor user so you don't need to do a lot of login and log out and then you can just move to the uh, different origin also different uh, uh, domain also let's see from google.com to uh, twitter.com twitter.com to some other third party uh, domain that you can go and then third party login you can easily do that and then again come back to the uh, previous browser context so this is very well supported a very beautiful feature is available in playwright then uh, major thing multiple window handling and the tab support handling it's not available in cypress it's very well supported with the playwright as well that is again major drawback with the cypress multi-language support cypress supports javascript and the typescript is actually developed for the initially for the uh, you know the developer's point of view but now a playwright is available with javascript typescript you can write your code in java python and the net it's very well supported if you're coming from the java background or python background and you are not very well versed with the javascript and the typescript you can easily write your code in java python and the net you can use all the beautiful features of object oriented programming and then you can simply easily use playwright with these language bindings as well just like we do it in selenium browser support Cypress majorly works upon the CDP, CDP that is your Chrome Dev protocols and uh, they support with the Electron a browser also and the Chrome, Firefox, Dev and Nightly build, Chromium based browsers, Edge, Beta and the Canary releases also they support with that. But uh, Playwright supports almost everything, all the browser vendors are available in the market, Chrome, Chromium, Firefox and the WebKit that is the amazing thing. The WebKit is engines uh, used by Apple Safari. You can in fact use the WebKit Safari engine in the Windows machine also. That is another feature that they have given. Along with head and headless mode, you can do that. WebKit support is still not available with the Cypress. Maybe in their pipeline, but it is very difficult to implement from the Cypress side that how exactly they have no idea how exactly they are going to implement the WebKit. As of now, it's pending since long, but uh, uh, let's see the Cypress will support WebKit or not in future. Another point that is what I've written, WebKit Safari, it's not at all available and it's very well supported here. And then in terms of fast execution, uh, as compared to uh, Playwright, Cypress runs inside the browser. It uses CDP APIs, which is a chatty uh, protocol, which is a slow protocol. And that's why it is a uh, slow. But at the same time, Playwright is much, much, much faster 
because this uses a browser context a mechanism and event handling mechanism from the web element side and that's why it is faster than uh, the cypress so that is what like i would say the four times faster than uh, you know uh, the cypress so this is like much faster than cypress you can say that Page object pattern, no recommended by Cypress, although you can use it in the form of page actions. They provided by uh, Cypress, but here it's very well supported. Your favorite page object model design pattern, you can use with the Playwright. You can easily write your page objects using in the form of encapsulation and then creating the page actions and then calling the method from the test clients. You can easily do with the page object, use the reusability code and everything. Very well designed, you can use along uh, in your framework, you can do that. So yes, it is supported, very well supported with the Cypress, uh, with the Playwright, but not supported and recommended by Cypress, although you can do that. Parallel browser testing, yes, you can do that, but uh, if you don't have license, you cannot do that on the single machine. You can just run your test cases on the single browser. You cannot execute with the parallel browser testing. You need a license for that, but it's very well supported. You don't need any license using workers on single machine as well as on the a CI machine on the remote machine also and you don't need any license for that that is again a very attractive thing and then again it's freely available you can execute the parallel browser testing cross browser testing in the parallel mode you can easily uh, do that over here then another thing is that parallel support for test just like we do it in test ng that at the rate a test annotation and then uh, with the help of test ng you can execute your different test cases same thing you can do with the parallel support test within a single test file you can do that i have a single test file and multiple if you are using uh, let's see node.js or using a uh, typescript or javascript you are not using test ng still you can do that in the one single js file or ts file you can write your all your test uh, methods and then you can execute all the test method in the parallel mode that is a native support provided by a uh, playwright but that's not possible in uh, in Cypress, in Cypress, for every single test, you have to create a separate test file. You have to split test into different files. Then only you can do that. That is again a overhead unnecessary and maintenance unnecessary and so many files that you have to create in Cypress to to provide the support for the test. And then async await issues. It's again a big overhead. A lot of complex promises that you have to use method chaining that you have to use which is like quite confusing, difficult to understand code and no await uh, and async uh, concept. Generally, we don't write await and async. It, they say they claim that they have the inbuilt await and inbuilt async uh, in Cypress. But here the playwright is fully supported with async and await syntax for clean and more readable code. You will get to know what is happening for each and every line, which object that we are using it. Here we directly write cy.get, but cy is coming from where? The magic is happening automatically, but how exactly it is happening, we're really not sure about it. Okay, so unnecessary, lot of complex method chaining when you have a big a number of uh, test lines or test steps that you have in the single test, then again, lot of uh, method chaining and uh, uh, the concept of the promises that you have to use to achieve the uh, complex chaining here. So that is what we never write no await and no sync because it's a method chaining concept but here every single line is an independent line and then against every single line if you're writing the javascript code and then you can simple for every single line of your code you can write await and async over here it's very well supported with playwright that is again uh, makes playwright different from uh, cypress edge case scenario it needs for every single thing in cypress almost you need a third party plugin you talk about any file upload you talk about any parallel execution you talk about any um, you know across origin policy although it not supported but still let's see for iframe support for xpath support you need a plugin most of the features are inbuilt feature which are already available uh, file upload download everything is available inside the inside the playwright you don't need to create a dependency unnecessary on different other uh, plugins and unnecessary dependencies which are available in the market that's why the maintenance it's very easy over here because in cypress for every single thing almost html report generator you need any mocha awesome or any other kind of reporting plugin that you have to use every time you have to use a third party plugin okay test grouping and test uh, suite which is not available they don't support the grouping of the test cases and creating the one single test suite and under test suite you have multiple test groups like let's see sanity group and smoke group and uat and a regression that you cannot do that but here it's very well supported you can easily do with the uh, with playwright xpath rely on xpath plugin as i told you one more plugin is available then again you have to use this third party plugin 
which is again not that reliable and then you have to whenever the cypress is getting upgraded then you have to wait for the xpath plugin to be upgraded as well but here this is the inbuilt support is available in play right that is again it makes because a lot of things that you can do with the xpath for example a complex web table dynamic web tables paginations certain things <clears throat> the parent sibling following sibling certain things you can easily use in in your uh, uh, in playwright but here it's again you have to be dependent on the xpath plugin over here then dependency this is again same factor for as respect to hk scenario but depends on more and more on third party plugins it's again an overhead not sure long term support for that particular plugin every time you have to do the version upgrade also with respect to the latest cypress and then again same thing you have to check the browser com uh, the backward compatibilities as well the maintenance for almost everything there is a plugin in cypress that is again most of the users they don't prefer that most of the companies they are maybe uh, they don't prefer that and the user will be frustrated that okay the amount of maintenance that we have to perform and uh, to support these plugins and then if the, one of the plugin is not working and is not more, no more supported in the market then again you have to find out some other plugin for that okay so that's why most of the features are supported in inbuilt and less dependencies in playwright that is again one of the most important thing in in playwright then again the debugging for debugging point of view they have recently removed the visual studio code debugging you need to debug in developer tool or your own debugger here playwright provides a lot of various options for the debugging playwright inspector playwright trace viewer you can run in the headed mode browser developer tools also you can do that run in the debug mode selectors in the developer tools console visual studio code debugger that is with node.js and the verbose api logs also you can check that so there are various options of debugging the code you can easily uh, do that then automatic weights both claims that uh, they have uh, automatic weights you don't need to uh, explicitly write the weights over here but it's inbuilt implicitly weight in most of the cases it does not work for uh, Cypress, a lot of people they claim you can go to their GitHub page and you can check that a lot of people they complain about that that inbuilt await is not supporting explicitly you have to provide or some a sleep that you have to provide for that for the many of the use cases but here they claim they have inbuilt auto wait and event based mechanism which is making them uh, very less uh, flaky test cases that you can write and then uh, uh, most of the cases it works but still we have to wait for that if how exactly the response is coming from the community for the auto wait point of view then upload and download file it needs again one more third party plugin and uh, we don't have any plugin inbuilt feature available for the uh, cypress but we have to dependent on the be dependent on the third party plugin and this is the inbuilt feature available in in playwright user authentication is not available here and but uh, again some hacks that you can do that that is what i have read somewhere but I'm not very much sure about it in their official documentation for the user authentication. Auto user authentication is not supported. It supports the reuse of authentication state. You have logged in, you can just uh, save that particular authentication state in the form of uh, browser uh, cookies and the same cookie you can pass next time in the next test also so that you don't need to log in again and then you can save a lot of time here for the reuse of authentication state. That is again a very nice feature available in, uh, in Playwright. Flake detection, they have the dashboard, they will tell you that where exactly that uh, test is getting failed in which line and then uh, why the test case got failed with the proper recording and everything but you have to pay for it for the their dashboard. But here you can configure your uh, test retry strategy, capture execution trace, you can, it, they will, uh, you can create the videos, the screenshot to eliminate the flakes that also you can easily uh, make it and it's obviously free of cost, you don't need to pay any single penny for the license over here. Then if you talk about the pricing, dashboard pricing included license for the advanced feature like parallel execution and all such things, you really need a, a license for that. But here it's a free of cost. If you talk about the community, comparatively Cypress is now the older tool from last 5-6 years, it's, available, uh, it's already there in the market. It is mature and has a good community support but uh, here it's new and the smaller community is still uh, like recently after puppet year i think in 2019 and 20 it actually came into the market and then uh, having the smaller community but it's growing like anything and a lot of companies they started using it we really got a really good feedback and the uh, dev community also it's quite aggressive like every almost every day you will be seeing there are a lot of uh, uh, development is happening as well as they are fixing the bugs they are looking into the existing bugs and looking into the bugs raised by the users as well 
to make sure that okay that user is happy and the customer is getting the uh, bug fixes immediately as soon as possible so that is like amazing thing the attitude of the dev, dev community that is amazingly great as compared to if you see if you compare with the protector that is the main reason behind that uh, from last three years although protector is will not be supported after 2022 december that is already announced by google but again uh, for protector from last three four years there is no bug support there is no they have not released any single uh, release in the market and then uh, there is no bug support also from the protector side okay i'm talking about protector but here the cypress community is quite mature and uh, and they are quite active also a lot of releases are happening a lot of pipelines that uh, features are uh, okay in the pipeline but these are the basic things i mean the main comparison on the basis of that personally if i if i uh, if i have to pick one tool between cypress and the playwright after protector and uh, i would prefer a playwright because of some amazing features like parallel execution iframe cross origin policy a faster execution multiple browser support that is the most important thing multi-language support i can write my code in java python if you are not comfortable with the javascript you can easily write your code in any language that you can write it and if you're coming from the selenium java background or uh, you know the java background you can easily write it over here that is again you can do that and then the the, uh, the good thing is that the webkit safari support on the windows with head and headless you can easily do that right and then firefox uh, lately built nightly built that also you can do that all the chromium based browsers like opera microsoft edge a uh, chromium also you can use it and the chrome browser also you can use it over here so it's it is supported with most of the browsing uh, vendors are available in the market and uh, same thing with the uh, multiple uh, operating system support also both they can work together like that that's not an issue with that with respect to multiple operating system so this is about and another thing is that the parallel support for test and the parallel browser testing that is like very well supported uh, with its own thread and multi uh, workers uh, mechanism you can easily do that and you don't need to pay any license for that it's totally a free library you just need to configure it and then start using it then if you see why playwright some other out of box features uh, you can easily generate your own code in any language multiple language support testing safari on windows you can emulate your devices as well on android and uh, ios test retries aggressive releases fixing issues they support lr report as well and then they generate your pdf report that how many test cases got passed fail and everything we will see in the upcoming chapters as well then uh, common features between both like common features of uh, playwright and the cypress <coughs> both are having good documentation cypress is having some amazing documentation no doubt about it somewhere cypress uh, you know supports like some really good support for the api testing as well same thing you can do with the uh, uh, playwright as well point and click test recording yes in both the things you can do that test debugging tools test retries automatic waiting although playwright automating uh, waiting is uh, somewhere better than the cypress video and the screen capture mobile uh, emulation regularly updated in the very well maintained in terms of their documentation and the apis and everything it's not like after six months you are getting the update and the new releases run on a subset of test and the network monitoring that also you can do very well with the cypress and need to check with the playwright but yeah it is actually according to their documentation it is supported and then we will see that in the upcoming chapters so this is the overall uh, uh, overall i would say the difference between uh, cypress and the playwright then you take your own decision that which one you prefer on the basis of this i'll share this uh, the comparison and then uh, you decide that uh, uh, which tool that you really want to prefer for your team for your project and for your application point of view that's all guys in the next video i'll try to cover playwright with the uh, selenium also that will be i think uh, a very interesting comparison let me do my own uh, research and then uh, we will write one more column after playwright for with uh, uh, selenium and later on maybe a web driver io as well as we will see with the uh, uh, protector we can ignore it but puppeteer we can include here like that so thank you so much thanks for watching the video automation labs i hope you are liking this tool please do the uh, please go through it and then let me know if you have any issues or any other comparison that you really want to highlight feel free to write in the comment section guys Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Navid Automation Labs. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.